Hours after Zuma appeared in the Durban High Court on corruption charges Ramaphosa's lawyers officially withdrew his office's appeal against the state capture judgment, and made it clear that Zuma will have to fight the estimated R10 million personal costs order made against him on his own, take further notice that with regards to the appeal on the issue of the punitive costs the current president is not liable in that the punitive costs were against the former president in his personal capacity and as such we do not purport to act on the former president's behalf in this notice, the North Gauteng High Court ordered Zuma to personally put the bill in his aborted bid to block the release of then-public protector Thule Madonzela's state of capture report and his failed bid to review it. Three judges slammed his legal challenges as ill-advised and reckless, Zuma has yet to outline his opposition to the DA's challenge to his legal funding. His lawyer, Michael Hulley, has already indicated that Zuma intends to file a challenge to National Prosecution Authority head Sean Abraham's decision to put him on trial by mid-May. And that challenge, which may take years to finalize, will require significant funding.